Hi, you guys, and welcome to Beyond Butterfly Transformation Society. I greatly appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to these videos. So the next video that I was called to do, I was just clearing the energies just a little bit. So let me put this over here. <laughs> Okay, you guys, sorry about that. So the next um, uh, video that I was called to do will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So keep in mind that every message in here will not resonate with you. It's a million of you guys and one of me. So take it as it resonates, okay? All right. Let's see. Archangel Michael, Jehovah God, my guardian angels, and my ancestors. Please give me the messages I need to convey to the collective of Tauruses. <sighs> Clear my mind, keep my energies out of it, and give me my mess. Well, their message. <laughs> okay. I just heard you is so beautiful. Stop worrying. So that's a message for some Taurus out there. <laughs> you fabulous girl, man, whatever. So there you go. All right. So let's see here. Let's get five energy cards for Taurus. I just heard they love you the way you are. Let's see. I'll show you the cards in the end. Well, in a minute, I should say. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. The overall energy of your reading is the chariot. So persevering, moving ahead, you know, pushing forward. So the five cards that came out for you, Taurus, is the fool in reverse. So someone is playing games. <laughs> Someone is not wanting to take a leap of faith, you know? Someone is afraid. They are fearing the unknown. That's what I just got. The next card is your energy, Taurus. This is the King of Pentacles here. So, you know, the King of Pentacles is a father. He has his money, you know, he has his family, he has his people around him, you know? And, you know, she. It, he has the woman that he loves around him too as well because she is just like looking at him like she want to eat him like a piece of cake <laughs> and then we have the ace of swords coming out here in reverse um taurus so this tells me that um you know in the upright it talks about the truth it talks about clarity but someone is not having clarity here and this is the center of your reading, you know? And then we have these six of pentacles here. So, and it's in reverse. So I feel as though someone is no longer giving to two. Someone is no longer giving to two. And I feel as though um, maybe your money is being affected too as well. And then we have the uh, Two of Wands here. So the Two of Wands talk about someone needing to make a decision. But I feel as though someone is telling this person or he he's seeking advice or she is seeking advice in regards to what to do because he's tied to both of these wands. He doesn't know what to do. So let's go ahead and clarify. But in the center of your reading, we have possibly someone is telling lies. That's how I see that too as well, because it's in the center. Someone could be telling lies. Let's clarify for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I just saw the King Queen of Pentacles, so this could be a marriage. So tell me more about the fool in reverse. Someone is not taking a leap of faith. Someone is feeling afraid. Tell me more about the fool in reverse. So 
also um, we have the Ten of Wands here. Someone's feeling burdened. If they take this leap of faith, they feel as though it will be more of a burden. You know? Yeah, because someone, this could cause confusion for someone. Someone could have options too as well. Yes, we have the Five of Cups here. So the Five of Cups talk about someone feeling regretful, being sad, you know, um, crying over spilled milk, you know, looking at the past and what has been spilled, you know, they're not thinking about healing. Yes, because secrets have came out here, Taurus. Secrets have came out, you know, or someone's not searching their intuition here. Then this is why the fool is here. You know, someone feels as though it, it'll be too much. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Wands and the uh, Death card. So transformation in regards to in and out energy. Someone wants to stop this. Someone wants to stop the in and out energy. Yes, because look, the Six of Pentacles coming out again. Someone was giving to two. Someone was giving to two individuals, you know, but they're scared. They're scared. This is what I call a coward. <laughs> Sorry, Taurus. This could be you or the Cross Roger. So we don't worry. <laughs> so don't get mad at me. <laughs> so let's see here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Look at this, justice. There will be a fair and just decision in this matter, but this also can be talking about a marriage. You know, this also could be talking about something in court too as well. But there's delays here. There's delays or someone is content on however their situation is going. Someone is content. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, he's chilling. He has his money, you know, he's doing what he needs to do for his family. And this is wish fulfillment. The King of Pentacles is happy. The King of Pentacles is happy being single. He's feeling like, yeah, I'm good. You know, he could be drinking a lot too as well. But you know, yeah, but we have the Temperance, we have the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Emperor here. So this could be something at work that you're dealing with, but someone is not balanced. But someone is being very frugal, very cheap, or someone is holding to on to the past or their security too as well. Tell me more. This, you know, this King of Pentacles, which is you, Taurus, is feeling satisfied. You're feeling as though this is wish fulfillment. And we have the Empress here. So someone could be pregnant, but this is your energy again, Taurus. This is love and abundance. So maybe your money is up, but we have the Two of Cups here. So the Two of Cups, you know, is about a, a union, you know, a twin flame union, a soulmate, love. Tell me more. We have the Hermit here. So someone could be searching inward. This could be you because it's clarifying the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You could be having a partnership with the Virgo. And this is wish, of, wish fulfillment for you, Taurus. Tell me more. This is your energy, Taurus. I despise the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Cause he just sits there on his horse, just sitting there. He just thinking about who to give his pinnacle to. He's thinking and he's thinking, you know, by this time he had been a groove beer, he's still thinking, you know, but the King of Pentacles is, <laughs> I hate the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is, um, you know, uh, romantic, you know, he does think about every detail, you know, he does, you know, this is your energy. So and you could be making a head over heart decision here. So you know <laughs> tell me about the ace of swords in reverse tell me about the ace of swords in reverse i feel as though someone possibly could have killed your dog i just see that right now like someone has killed an animal or something like right here the sword is like hmm then we have the um 
the uh, Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands here in reverse. So someone wants to let their guards down. Someone's having hope and faith and wishing upon a star in regards to this. In regards to possibly the truth coming out. And it could be a Leo. But someone needs willpower and strength here. They need willpower and strength. Because someone has let their guards down. Because lies have been told. And now we have the um, Two of Pentacles and the, um, the Hangman coming out in reverse. So someone wants to stop juggling because they're no longer wanting to be content. You know, they're no longer content with these lies. Tell me about the um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa, okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles, but it came out in reverse. So something is changing in regards to your security. You know, something is changing in regards to your money because you're going from the Six of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles now. So possibly, you know, um, you're homeless, possibly losing a home, possibly losing money. And then this could be work too as well because we have the overall energy, the emperor. So the emperor is a boss, you know, so, but the emperor also has control, balance, you know, the emperor oversees all the kings, all of the knights, all of the pages, you know, too as well. Tell me more. You could be losing money here, Taurus. Tell me more. Someone needs to make a decision. Someone needs to make a decision. Or someone has made a decision. And it could be in regards to a Leo. But we have the sun here. The magician. And the temperance. So this is divinely guided. This is three major arcanas here. In regards to, um, you know, someone is no longer giving to two possibly. Someone's possibly letting go of their past. I see that too as well. And making a choice towards a Leo. Tell me more. And then we have the Four of Cups here. So someone is not seeing an option that is given to them. It's a blessing. And they're not seeing it. Someone might want to let go of these options they have. And then we have the page of uh, wands here. Yes, someone wants to let go of the options. And I just heard, I love you, baby. So there you go. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so beautiful, that boy. So, and then we have the devil here so there is some form of desire some form of toxic energy going on here some form of toxic energy because we have the two of wands here twice so someone needs to make a decision tell me more about the two of wands tell me more about the well, okay wow so that just one second you guys <laughs> whoa oh almost fail <laughs> so we have the page of swords coming out so someone definitely could be spying on two individuals here too as well but someone is curious somebody is curious you could be dealing with a um a, a gemini libra aquarius too as well but we have the two of cups here you know this is about a partnership tell me more Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles coming out. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Wow. So someone wants to work and collaborate with you in regards to building a legacy here. You could have money coming in. It seems like once you stop juggling, once you let, um, you know, your past go, make a choice. 
this is good news. It's going to bring forth legacy. You know, it's going to bring forth money. Look at that. I can't lie. This is the fool. Take a leap of faith, Taurus. Take a leap of faith. Because someone is scared here in the beginning. Someone is scared to take a leap of faith. But you need to take a leap of faith. And this is at the end of your reading. There you go, Taurus. So there you go. Um, let me get a... Um, let's get three um, outcome cards for Taurus. I love using these. Aren't they cute? Oh, it says Six of Swords. Detachment. So definitely someone wants to heal. Someone wants to move away from something. Detachment. Let's see. Let's get three cards for Taurus. Three outcome cards for Taurus. Let's see. All right. Three outcome cards for Taurus. Please and thank you. Three outcome cards for Taurus. Three outcome cards for Taurus. Okay. So we have the Hierophant. Morals. This could be marriage too as well. Tell me more. Two more outcome cards for Taurus. Because we have Justice here. Okay. Don't stop. King stop. Won't stop. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so we have four more cards. So we have the Nine of Cups, so wish fulfillment is the outcome. We have the Hermit here, like we I said, the Virgo is here. So you definitely could be dealing with the Virgo, or you definitely could be searching inward too as well. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, I told you, legacy, abundance. Look at that. And then the last card that came out is the Four of Swords. So someone is contemplating. And this is the this is the um, outcome of your reading here. So beautiful, beautiful. And there will be a um, message coming in, a spiritual message for you, Taurus. So that is beautiful. You're going to be happy. Or someone in this connection will be. So let's see here. Let's get one soulmate card for Taurus. One soulmate card for Taurus. One soulmate card for Taurus. Okay, so we have, you are moving on to a steady and reliable path, Taurus. Look at that, beautiful. And the next card, it says, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. And what did I say in the beginning of the reading? What did it say? You are beautiful. Stop worrying. Facts, Taurus. <laughs> and the overall energy of the deck, it says your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Facts. I can't make this up. I can't make it up. It's impossible. What chances would that be? Let me get um, some Moonerology cards for you, Taurus. Let me get three. Moonerology cards for Taurus. Three Moonerology cards for Taurus. All right, three Moonerology cards for Taurus. Three Moonerology cards for Taurus. Okay. So we have, didn't I just say that your past is holding you? Oh my gosh. It says, don't let your past hold you back. South note. So this is something that you've already been through. So you need to live in your north note and live in your destiny. So if you have, um, what is it? Uh, if your south note is Scorpio or no, you know what? You just got to look up your birth chart. <laughs> so live in your destiny, your north note, Taurus. And then also too, it says you and your loved ones are safe. You guys are safe. So know this, you're safe. Let me get one. Oh, wow. The overall energy of the deck leads you the bull. <laughs> it says your dreams need a practical plan. Let me get one more card for Taurus. That is beautiful. I told you that is beautiful. Let's see here. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so it says you're, a personal issue reaches resolution. 
full moon in cancer. So you could be dealing with a cancer too as well. Let me get a um, universal love card for you here. Universal love card for Taurus. <sighs> I love it when the cards just come together like this. <laughs> Don't you? No. Let's see. I just saw transcend. So definitely you could be getting messages from uh, the divine. But pay attention to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? So the overall energy of your um, reading is eternal flame. So you're loving someone or someone loves you deeply. So just keep that in mind. You know, that's beautiful. Let me get um, an inspirational wording for you. Inspiring wording. I should say. Let's see. One is, oh, wow, that popped out quick. Okay. I forgive myself. Forgive yourself, Taurus. You know, it says, as I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough. And I am free to love myself. You're free to love yourself. You're free to forgive yourself. Facts. You don't have to sit up there and just, you know, um, keep yourself down, you know, for what reason? Life is too short. We ain't got time for that. Keep pushing forward. So one empowering question for Taurus. You got two empowering questions. It says, what is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? Get money, elevate, legacy, abundance. <laughs> It says, what kinds of advice would I give to my younger self? What would you say to your younger self if you could? You know, what would you let your younger self know? I know I would, too. Get money, girl. Get money. Everything else come last. <laughs> give me the bag. Take the love. No. <laughs> so, um, oh, wow. At this time, I want you guys to just... Take a deep breath. And I want you to think about a question that you want the answer to, because we're gonna try to get the answer from our angel answer cards, okay? So for Taurus, I'm so crazy. Yeah. And then also too, um, the overall energy of the deck for the universal um, love card is inner child. So you guys could be dealing with some inner child issues too as well. You know, um, I would say write, write whatever um, problems you're having down and, uh, you know, try to work through each one, you know, because you have to start uh, the process of forgiving yourself and forgiving others. That's going to release you, okay, um, because you will constantly harbor those feelings and, you um, never get anything resolved. There's no point in holding on to it, right? So there you go. Let's get one angel answer card. Let's think about the question you want the answer to and see if we can get an answer for you. One answer for Taurus. Oh, wow, that popped fast. It says, be assertive, Taurus. And then the overall um, energy of the deck if you believe. So that's your answer. Be assertive and if you believe. Facts. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you, Taurus. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.